Our man John Paul, he makes the call. He's off the wall. Hey, it's John Paul. And the Greyhound Hall of Fame is Gulf Greyhound Parks, Pat Dalton. Listen, he doesn't have a Texas accent. He don't even have an American accent. He's from good old Ireland. And let's meet Mr. Pat Dalton, the Hall of Famer. How long have you been in the business? Well, my father had dogs before me, but I'm in it full time since I was 18 years old. How long have you been in the United States racing? I started in 1961. I came from Ireland to represent Ireland in Miami at Biscayne in the Irish American. Can you compare the two, United States and Ireland, from facilities to the Greyhounds to the whole bottle of water, to the wagering? Well, there is no facility in any part of the world the size of Gulf Greyhound Town. But the facilities in Ireland, in Ireland are, most of them are new, modern. We promote it as a great night out. The restaurants are first class. Our tracks are slightly different in that their lure runs on the outside in Ireland. What's it like to train a greyhound to follow the, the lure on the inside of the rabbit versus the outside of the rabbit? Well, it's actually easier to get the greyhound to chase the inside lure because it's much closer. The outside lure has to be much further in front. I see, oh, a lot yes. of, I see a lot of Irish greyhounds here. Well, 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 quite a lot of our greyhounds in Ireland are from the United States. Uh, the way drain, okay, is it the same as here? We don't have show. We have winning place and we have Cornellas, trifectas, because we only have six dog racing. In six dog racing, the pools would be too small. Everybody looks at the program. It's John Dalton, John Dalton, and now they see Pat Dalton. You're his father. Tell us about why you're here and what's John up to. He has, he has sent in some real nice pups. There's one pup, one nation. I'd say he's as good as we've had for quite a while. He won uh, his own by John. He won his maiden the other night by 13 and a half lengths. I like him. You're a Hall of Famer. So was there anything that John needed to improve on? That I don't think that makes the dogs run any faster, whether you're a Hall of Famer or not. But what I do think is that you've got to have the dogs. If you don't have the greyhounds that can compete, you're not going to do very well. Did you call him up and say, son, you're doing this wrong, or did you tell no, him anything I did at all? Not, No, that's one thing you don't tell anybody. But you suggest something, say, well, maybe we'll try this or try that. What's one of your favorite greyhounds of all time? Well, Rock and Ship, which is in the Hall of Fame, he was a great greyhound. We've had a lot of good greyhounds way back in the 60s and 70s. you have a farm in Ireland? Yes, I do. I have, a, I have two farms in Ireland. I have my own schooling track. They come out here, they're ready to run. Let's talk about your father in the greyhound business, what it was like back well, my then. My father was a farmer in Ireland and he only kept dogs as a hobby. So when I went into him full time, he didn't mind, but some of my relatives didn't like to see me going into greyhound racing full time. I love the greyhounds and I mean, I've often said they're better than people. First of all, do greyhounds, Irish greyhounds, do they bark with an accent? Oh, well, they, 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 tend, they tend to have a coarser voice, just like some people can't understand me over here more. I have to talk very slowly. I'm, I'm just a you know, dumb old guy from Lamarck, Texas. Yeah. I've never really been anywhere. Um, is there really leprechauns? Well, if you come to Ireland, we'll take you out to the territory and we'll show you the little men with the green hats, the little leprechauns. And maybe you could take one back to America with you and they might help you find the pot of gold. Hey, it's John Paul, and this is Mr. Pat Dalton. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to that meal. You know, I never had a Hall of Famer shake my hand, and I sure hadn't had one cooked for me. Thank so. you, John Paul. We'll, we'll talk about the cook some other time when we're not on camera.